Hey guys. Hey, 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 Coach Cabrini here, the Gangster Chef. Y'all know I'm always dishing up food and food for thought. Gangster Chef. So, today I am making lamb shank. Y'all see these? These are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. You want to make sure when you get a lamb shank, that's kind of like your calf, right? You want to make sure that it's very meaty, okay? So, I put oil on these. I used um, shallot, shallot oil right here, okay? And then I'm gonna add sesame oil. And then I'm going to add my favorite, y'all know I gotta have my chili hot sesame oil. And then I'm gonna rub that all together and I'll be back to show you what else I'm gonna put on the shanks. Okay guys, so all of my oil is on here. So now I'm just gonna rub it together and make sure that it gets all on here. And then I'm gonna get a knife and I'm gonna start poking some holes in through here so that all of my oil can penetrate the inside of the shank, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have put holes all throughout this leg, uh, the shank, and I'm salting it now. And you wanna make sure that when you are seasoning up your lamb, any lamb, you have to over season it because lamb has a very, very gamey taste to it. And I have found that sesame oil helps to combat that, that taste. So I'm using spicy garlic. That was garlic pepper just now. Smoky turmeric. I love the taste of this turmeric. Mm, and it smells so, ooh, so good. Well, y'all gotta pay attention to that. But what's gonna happen is I'm gonna uh, move that around anyway for the other side. Okay, and here is my Creo Depot. Okay, so that looks like it's over seasoned, right? Well, I'm gonna take it and move it around and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, you see that? It's nice and beautifully seasoned to perfection. So now, the reason why I didn't add my teriyaki and my Worcestershire sauce on it is because I wanted to um, let the oil and the seasoning come together first, because if I had done this first, it would have just rolled off of it, and now this it's just gonna, the seasonings won't come off, okay? All right. I'm gonna put it in the uh, oven. I have the oven preheated on broil, and I'm gonna get it um, seared on top. Get it nice and seared, and then, I'm gonna add vegetables to this, some chicken stock, and I'm gonna put foil on it and let it bake for two hours. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here it is. It is now seared, and there's the, the uh, juices down at the bottom that I'm gonna get with my chicken stock. Now, here's the thing. I made three hour chicken stock yesterday homemade chicken stock, right? Took it out of the refrigerator. Remember, this is extremely hot. You don't wanna take the hot, the cold, straight from the refrigerator and pour it on this because this entire thing will shatter. So I had to heat it up so that it can just marinate together. Okay, y'all see that? So now, I'm gonna get all those juices from the bottom, all the scrapings from the bottom. And then I am going to put it in the oven with some foil over it. I'm gonna cook it for an hour. And after that, I'm gonna add my vegetables to it and let that cook for another hour. Okay, y'all see all that beautiful juices? Oh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. 
So my um my Cabrini Gangsta Trinity right here is all the peppers, red, yellow, uh, green, orange, uh, cilantro, garlic, shallots, and red onion is all up in here. Okay, I usually do a pre-concoction. I always have it pre-cut. Y'all see that? I always have it pre-cut so that when I'm ready to cook, it's already chopped up. I'll be right back. So this is gonna cook right now for an hour, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, look at this amazingness. So I just put the zucchini and the cauliflower in this sauce right here. Y'all see that? Ooh -hoo. I might have to make some uh, break down and have some rice or something. Ooh. Okay, so you see how that feels like it's not pulling like I want it? Look at that. See how that's a little bit tougher? I'm, it's going back in the oven for 20 minutes, and next time when I take it out, it's going to fall off the bone. Let me just taste this right quick. Mm. Lord have mercy. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, everybody, this is the moment to reveal this loveliness. I hope my camera is right. Y'all, hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Hey, 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 y'all. Okay, here she is. Now, let's review, reveal the masterpiece. Ooh, ooh, ooh voila. Look at that. Mm. Okay, so remember, I told you guys, here I go. I'm pulling it. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Let me see right here. Oh my goodness. My mouth is watering. Oh my God. All right. Well, let me plate her up and eat it in front of you. I'll be right back. Okay guys, here she is. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay. Let me, well I told you guys I could peel it off, but I prefer to cut it because it's not doing what it's supposed to do, but oh shit. But it's still very tender. Mm, let me say. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is so amazing. With this cauliflower. Look at that. Beautiful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. That's amazing. Okay, everybody. Coach Cabrini is out. Until the next video. I'll see y'all later. Remember, eat right, think right. You can't help but feel right. I'll see you later.